Hello everyone. Hope you are watching the irony that is going on in the Indian media these days. Nothing but when the people and the social media as well as the mainstream media are appealing to boycott the Bollywood, the cameras of the media are actually still struggling to track these alleged druggies right when they start from the Goa or other state airports through Mumbai airports to their way back home and the next day to the NCB office. These cameras are struggling to capture the agony on their faces, to elaborate on their outfits as well as the body language when they are going not for receiving any prestigious awards but actually for getting grilled. And paradoxically, in the same breath, this media appeal to boycott the so-called stars fallen from heaven. Coming to our topic for the day, as you all know, when the Indian soldiers are alert on the war front, Indian farmers had been on the streets to protest against the agriculture-related bills passed by the Narendra Modi government in the second week of September. We discuss in this video as to what had been on the table of the parliament causing so unrest among the farmers in our country, especially in the states of Punjab and Haryana. The three bills that were passed are the Farmers Produce Trade and Commerce Bill, Farmers Empowerment and Protection Agreement on Price Assurance and Farm Services Bill, and the third one is the Essential Commodities Bill. The first of the bills, that is the Farmers Produce Trade and Commerce Bill, according to the central government, it provides an opportunity to the farmers to sell their produce outside the government-designated mandis. Thus, the central government claims that here the farmer can fetch a better price for the product. Also, there will be no tax from the state government or central government on the trade which is carried out outside the mandis. Further, the bill also proposes to encourage intra-state trade, thus reducing the cost of transportation. And according to the Union Minister for Agriculture, Mr. Narendra Singh Tomar, these bills will be able to meet the requirements of farming in the future. And thus, it will in total modernize the agricultural sector. The second of the bill, that is the Farmers Empowerment and Protection Agreement on Price Assurance and Farm Services Bill, enables the farmer to engage into contractual agreements with buying entities. Herein, the farmers, they can engage with agri-based companies, retailers, exporters for the service and sale of their products. And thus, it provides farmers an access to modern technology. This is what the central government claims. These bills would free the farmers and traders from the current shackles of the conservative trading going on in the mandis, thus providing them more opportunities since it encourages interstate trade as well as electronic commerce. The farmers can connect to the big traders and retailers across the country and they can fetch a better price for the product. Now these are the pros which are being claimed by the central government but the farmers in Punjab and Haryana are on a war path against the laws passed by the central government. So we need to analyze if these are the benefits as claimed by the central government and what really is at stake. Three bills, the first one of them is the most controversial one. The most important claim of the bill is that it provides an opportunity to the farmers to trade outside the APMC market. The expansion of the APMC market is Agricultural Produce Marketing Committee which are controlled by the state government. Now according to the central government, the middlemen who are present at the APMC market lead to loss of the farmers. So by the passage of the first bill, the central government expects that the farmers can sell their products at a higher price or at whatever price they quote outside the mandis, thus helping them to reach the bigger markets. But what the farmers fear is that the minimum support price which is provided by the state government at the APMC markets will not be made available when they market or when they trade with the private traders since there will not be any government regulation out there. Though the central government has repeatedly verbally assured of MSP even that is minimum support price even with the passage of the current bills, the farmers in Punjab and Haryana and their leaders are not satisfied. Then when we come to the second bill, the second bill is the Farmers Empowerment and Protection Agreement and Farm Services Bill that encourages farmers to engage into contract farming. But the disadvantage with this is that it leads to bureaucrat-led settlement in disputes if any, wherein the farmers and traders are left at the mercy of the civil servants. And as we all know, the socio-economic inequality which is very much prevalent especially in the northern states of India will be brutally reflected in the settlement therein. 
Captain Amarinder Singh, Chief Minister of the State of Punjab, writes in his article that lawmakers make no mention of the minimum support price, which is an important lifeline of the poor farmers and the key to their survival and hence key to the nation's agricultural sector as a whole. According to the captain, instead of regulating the APMC market and thus assuring a better price for the products of the farmers, the central government is actually throwing farmers to the big sharks, none other than the retailers and traders who will be deciding the prices for the products of the farmers and the farmers will keep running from one retailer to another one season to another season with no bargaining power to demand the price they deserve for their product and thus their financial security will be compromised leading to the food security of the country as a whole. Captain further urges that he has warned the central government several times that the insecurity among the farmers in the border state of Punjab could be exploited by Pakistan, affecting the national security. But quite clearly, the central government does not care, according to him. Amidst all this unrest, chaos and confusion, the central government still claims that a lot of misinformation about the minimum support price has been spread in the public. A fierce psychosis has been created among the farmers that, with the passage of the bills, MSP will be done away with. The central government says that the parliament has been assured several times that the MSP will stay. And those who have not read the bills properly are spreading the misinformation and creating chaos among the public. But as you all know, the fact is that the people of India are tired of seeing the ill-informed and illiterate people standing for elections and then winning as the representatives of people only to be sold a few months later for crores of rupees, puppet popping from one party to another since grass is greener always on the other side. That's all for today. Thank you.